Hey, Web3 Curious listeners, today's episode is sponsored by BitLayer, and it is shot live at the Art Style Fest, where digital enthusiasts celebrate innovations in Web3, digital art, AI, and gaming. First, we will have many details on what it's like to organize an event such as Art Style Fest, and how events like this contribute to the cultural significance of Web3 ecosystem, fostering an environment that brings people together in real time and in real life from the digital world. Then we'll get a first-hand perspective on Monterra, which is a new Web3 tool that combines DeFi with social media, allowing creators to keep using their existing platforms while earning points that can be redeemed in the DeFi ecosystem. And finally, we'll take a look at Linnea's focus on decentralization and high security, aiming to provide a censorship-resistant platform for scaling Ethereum applications. All of this and more at the Edge of NFT. Cue the intro. Welcome to the Edge of NFT, the podcast that brings you the top 1% of Web3 today and what will stand the test of time. We explore the nuts and bolts of the business side and also the human element of how Web3 is changing the way we interact with the things we love. This podcast is for the dreamers, disruptors, and doers who are pumped about this ecosystem and driving where it goes next. Hello everyone, Josh Krieger, co-host of Edge NFT, live at Art Style Fest 2024 in Dubai during a really fun week um, where we've made it through some floods. We thought the bear market was bad, but but we hadn't seen anything. Right? A lot of liquidity this week. Yeah, a lot of liquidity. And as an event organizer, I can only imagine the pain you felt. Obviously, I have an event coming up on Tuesday, a little drier in Riyadh, but uh, how was the whole leading up to this process? Uh, I know that's a question you probably get too much, but yeah, curious. Well, Art Style Fest, we had that first iteration last year uh, in March. Um, that was one of the biggest things we did because we saw the whole community come together yeah. to, to be part of that. So we, we sought to do it bigger and better this year with better sponsors, you know, and, and that took almost eight months of prep to come together. Yes. It was a lot of hard work. A lot of these guys here are members of our community in some way. Um, it all came together in that truly community way that, you know, oh, Anas, oh, Danos, oh, Maria, I know this guy, you should have them. You know, I've never seen anything like that. It's uh, the word I use for that and the one we like is co-creation, right? Yes, co-creation. The, the partners here, the community members, they literally helped you create this event. Like it wouldn't be possible without a big community effort, right? People don't always realize that about events. And like, I've been here for a few hours, man, and you got a little of everything. There's some gaming booths, there's some live art, um, some really interesting DeFi projects yes, that are interacting yes, with the yes. community. Um, tell me a little bit about the curation and, and some of your partners. So, I think we're obviously very proud to be one of the first to bring Yuga Labs here, right? Um, Rug Radio, um, we, we got Polkadot, as well, uh, the Forbes team as well. Um, there's a lot more names. The thing is, a lot of these names were never really here in uh, Dubai. And a lot of folks in the past, in our community at least, had a little bit of FOMO seeing these activations happening in the US or in Europe. And not many, of us, yeah. uh, not many of us have the ability to fly because of work or whatever. Some of us need visas to go to the United States. Yeah. So. We sought to bring that culture here for our members. I love that. Yeah, you know, I've been to Dubai about six times the last uh, 12 months. Um, it's, there, it's a melting pot of, of business and certainly of, of blockchain. And you guys have sort of really positioned yourselves as the cultural glue that every sort of ecosystem needs, right? Because it's not just about doing deals. It's about like making magic in an environment where there's culture. That's what keeps people 100%. enjoying themselves 100%. coming back. And, and I know you guys have really tried to sort of do that for the, for not only for the art community here, but for the benefit of everyone. Here, 100%. Right? Yeah. Um, so uh, what are some of the sort of memorable like talks that you put together? I know you just had a really cool conversation with Yuga and Rug Radio, but um, they're all like your children, but maybe you can highlight some of the speakers that you're excited about. So we've had Farouk speak earlier. Um, we have uh, a lot of the sort of larger influencers that we've seen in the NFT space. You know, guys like Shiv, like uh, Pengu. We got Raheem. Uh, we got Marianne. Um, we got we got folks maybe that are in the Solana ecosystem. I mean, it's a very I, 
off the top of my head right now, I don't know all the speakers. That yeah, there. Yeah, we, 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 we got we got the guys from One Inch. Yeah. We got. Um, come to check it out. So so I think you know there's something here for everyone. We have eToro here with you know they're, they're TradFi, fintech, but with Web3. We got Polkadot, a blockchain, right? We got Yuga Labs, the biggest IP in Web3. Um, so you know, if, if you're um, if you're in this space and you live and breathe this space, you can't miss out on this on this event. And then if you're in Dubai, I feel I feel very proud that we are making a contribution of this level to this ecosystem, which hasn't ever had this ever before. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing, man. What are some of the themes um, that you're hearing consistently in this space? I mean, we've all been through the narrative, NFTs are dead, blah, blah, blah. Clearly there's long-term utility here and um, the value of NFTs will endure. Uh, what do you think some of the use cases are that you see uh, being more preeminent uh, in the next cycle? Look, I think we've clearly seen that NFTs were a kind of narrative at one point, but the existing narrative has now moved into the meme coin cult sort of culture. It, it, it goes to show, if you distill it, that NFTs were a type of meme in many ways, and yeah. they pumped on that meme culture aspect. So is the US dollar. I mean, it's got a guy with wooden that teeth, right? Too short now. The US dollar, Making yeah, that's a meme in its own way. So but now, very yes. clear, what's yeah, obvious to me upstairs. is culture is crypto about financial inclusion, or is it just the buzzword? It's, there we go. It's, this it's is a re this is a relevant buzzword. relevant point yeah, to yeah, our discussion. Yeah, yeah. It's popping. Exactly. The guy on <laughs> stage behind us, uh, he's trying to talk louder than us. Is talking about the same topic. Uh, yeah. But yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, is, you know, mean culture. Oh, sorry, culture is what rules this space and what makes people stay. It's not just about making money. It's really about being part of something that's bigger than yourself being part of a, a larger movement, you know, being part of something that many, many, many folks maybe didn't have anything really. They were just on in front of the, their, their computers with Discord. We're taking all these people out of their seats in Discord, out of their seats of just trading meme coins and smoking cigarettes and not eating enough. And we're bringing them here to meet people in real life, you know? So that, that matters so much more, in my opinion. I, I, I love it. I mean, that's where our passion comes from. There's so much I can relate to with what we do with LA and now Riyadh. Um, excited to be here. Honored to meet someone that shares our same values in terms of bringing great people together and emulating, uh, elevating the space. Um, so where can people go to learn more about ArtStyle and, and get involved? Obviously, if you're feeling some FOMO because you're not here, you should be. 100%. You should be here next year. 100%. But what do people do? ArtStyle. .io to learn more about us. That's A R T S D A O dot I O. If you want to know who's here at the fest, Artstyle Fest. So A R T S D A O F E S T dot com, and you can see what's going on. Follow us on Twitter. It's Arts A R T S underscore Dow D A O. Instagram, same thing. Artstyle. What's your handle? My handle is at Ananas B R B. So same thing on Telegram, Instagram. Uh, you know, uh, Twitter. Ananas like pineapple. BRB, be right back. I'm a pineapple, I'll be right back. Because I used to travel a lot and I'm from Mauritius. Nice. So nice. national fruits is, is the pineapple. So yeah. Shoot me a follow. I can tell you all about ArtStyle. It's been a passion. We've been building this for two and a half years. Our team's awesome. Our community's awesome. If you're here at ArtStyle Fest, I salute you. Thanks for being here with us. All right. Thanks for your time, brother. A quick word from our sponsors who's ready to navigate the cutting edge of tomorrow's legal landscape. Because at Zuber Lawler, they're not just attorneys, they're visionaries. With expertise in emerging technologies like AI, blockchain, and the metaverse, they're paving the way for you to seize the future. For mergers and acquisitions to IP, their selective team delivers strategic solutions tailored to the ever-changing world of technology. Join us at Zuber Lawler, where the future meets the law at ZuberLawler.com. Back to the episode. Hi everyone, what's going on? This is Josh Krieger, co-host of Edge of NFT, live at the Happening Art Style Fest 2024. And we're checking out the action, a lot of fun conversations and activations going on. I'm here with Sam Huber, who is uh, also the co-founder of Landval, and he's spinning off a new project called Montero that we're gonna learn more about. What's going on, Sam? Good to see you, Josh. Good to see you as always, man. And you guys are always building, so, um, Seems kind of intriguing this idea of combining art and, and DeFi. So, what are you guys up to? Yeah, so we're launching a new uh, a new tool, a Web3 tool, which basically combines DeFi with social media. 
So you've probably seen a lot of new uh, Web3 social networks that are creating entirely new networks. The problem there is if you're a creator, you got to start from scratch, you got to build your audience from zero. And it's a, it's a big, big, big ask for those creators. So what we decided to do is to bring the best of both worlds, basically, combining the scale of Web2 networks like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and, and TikTok and all of them, and creating a layer on top of that, which is a DeFi layer. So you can keep creating content the way you are on the traditional platforms. You would earn points by doing that. And then you can redeem these points almost like as a credit score in the DeFi ecosystem. Wow, so how does that work exactly? Like, um, what are the points based on? So points are based on engagement. Uh, we basically have a formula that we've created. The good thing is that formula is open source and the token holders will be able to define the formula in the future. So it's basically an open measure of social capital. It's based on, you know, number of engagement, followers and things like that. But in the Web3 ecosystem, you can also get people to stake for you. So our, our system is, is basically a staking economy and you can, instead of just staking inside the protocol, you stake on behalf of creators. And the more you stake on behalf of creators, and that shows basically the, the, the ability to attract capital. And that increases their score and so it brings their popularity up and it enables them to attract more liquidity and to get a bigger share of the reward pot. Very, very interesting. So is there a token component? There will be. Yeah, at the moment, that's not live. We're just launching the platform. Creators can start to sign up on materaprotocol.com. Uh, they can log in with X. They'll be able to log in with other platforms. And in the future, we're also implementing low levels of infrastructure with our layer two, which will have eventually a token. So we've got X, Instagram as well. At the moment, it's just X. We're literally launching today, pre-launching oh, wow. today here. All right. Uh, edge, this is at the edge. Now. That's what we yeah. like. At, uh, edge NRT is breaking news like that. That's right. There's, cool. a, there's a lot of early rewards as well for early creators. So if you sign up and, you know, you have all these tasks that you can do, if you follow us, if you invite friends, your score goes up, you can get more rewards. So it's just the beginning. We're onboarding a lot of big creators. And we've also just raised uh, some capital. Yet. We've announced yesterday 3.6 million. So we're quite excited about this. Very cool. And then uh, anything else on the roadmap you want to cover? I mean, we're just going to keep onboarding creators. We're going to add more platforms. Instagram would be next, Telegram. Then the community will be able to vote on which platform we want to add next. And I would just add to the ecosystem, right? You'll be able to log in with all of your social uh, accounts and then give bigger and bigger rewards. So that's basically the roadmap. Sweet, man. And where do people go? You can go to materaprotocol.com and you can already start connecting your email, your Twitter account and start earning rewards. All right. Well, thanks, Sam, for hanging out and thanks, uh, more breaking news on Edge of NFT. Thanks, man. And now for a quick word from our sponsor before we dive into the next segment. Are you ready to take your sports predictions to the next level? Look no further than maincard.io, the fantasy management platform that's taking the blockchain world by storm. With maincard, every card is a ticket to excitement. You can predict sport outcomes, trade cards in the marketplace, and challenge opponents in thrilling weekly duels. And don't wait. Head to maincard.io now and start earning rewards with your NFTs because it pays to be early. And now back to today's episode. Hey everyone, uh, Richard Carthon here with Edge of NFT. We are at the Art Style out here in Dubai. Um, and I'm here with Marco, who is one of the co-founders of Linnea. Uh, pleasure to have you here today. Um, how's your experience been so far? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, apart from the, the small problem that we had landing here in Dubai, but uh, we have been in Tokyo 2049 and it was impressive. Like, fully packed, a lot of, a lot of people, and, but great vibes all over the event. Great speaking session. Uh, the Linea booth was overwhelmed. Like, yeah. like, we finished our stock of Swags yesterday morning like one day before the, the the close of the event wow and now we are super super uh focused on art style and this event uh i was i was one of the the first in the linea team to push for being here to this event yeah. it's super important for us um our goal is to vibe with the people here yeah. we want to bring communities to linea we want to bring creators to linea it's very important for us that's why we invested a lot into this big activation. Like we read your brain, yeah. we try to steal your private keys sometimes, <laughs> and, and we create an NFT out of this uh, to commemorate this event. And it, this is amazing. It's, it's a mix of AI, social, brain reading, NFTs, everything happening on Linea as an NFT. It's, 
it's a super cool experience. Oh, absolutely. And um, as you were saying, like the vibe here is really awesome. Really, really cool people. Uh, Linnea has a really amazing activation, like truly central fold of the event. And you can see people walking behind us, a lot of really good energy. But for those who are just learning about Linnea, what is Linnea? Like how, how, what is all going on over there? So Linnea is the layer two on top of Ethereum. It's a ZK EVM. Uh, it's like many other layer two. Uh, we know Arbitrum, Base, Scroll, there are many of them. But every layer two is different. Right. So we uh, are part of the consensus family. Consensus is the company uh, founded by the Ethereum co-founder Joseph Lubin. Uh, it's the same company behind Infura or behind Metamask. So big product coming from consensus. Our R&D team is a huge, uh, played a huge role in the Ethereum history. We developed Ethereum client staking. We were have been an important part of the Ethereum merge, the proof of stake. So our R&D team started working on this ZK EVM built in house that was ready one year ago and we started linear that is powered by this stack built internally by consensus. Consensus is bootstrapping this network now. We are already live since one year. We are growing. We are in the top 10 roll up out there. Uh, but we still need to do the, the extra step. Right. Now we, we are focusing a lot on DeFi, on TVL. Mm -hmm. We need to get more into communities, binding, meme coins, NFTs, right. and things like this. Yeah, and I mean, this is a great place to be doing that, to get that kind of audience and, and getting more people involved. And a lot of our audience probably here says like, yes, uh, we're your audience, right? So for what what is the, your roadmap look like for this year? So this year will be super important because like, I would love to start from the technology component of it. So uh, the ZKVM is uh, much more powerful than other type of rollups because it simplifies the way you can decentralize it. So uh, we already made a lot of progress during this year from a tech perspective. Like we were the first ZKVM to implement blobs, pushing down the price. So fees are very low on linear. Security is very high. But with the ZKVM, we are able to decentralize the network. And that will be the main focus of this year. So the full tech team will be focusing mainly on decentralizing the sequencer and making sure that Linea can be censorship resistant. Because we want to scale Ethereum dApps. But Ethereum dApps are unstoppable dApps. So if we want to scale unstoppable dApps by making them stoppable, it's too easy. So we need to keep uh, as a North Star, censorship resistance is first principle, and we will focus on this the whole year to make sure that Linea can become censorship resistant as Ethereum right. to scale Ethereum up. It's amazing. So, focusing on that and starting there with the, uh, the technicals piece, but there's a lot of other elements of, of Linea that's just kind of said as well between uh, going more after uh, NFTs, DeFi protocols, uh, memes, etc. So let's say over the next couple of months, like what are some of the, as you're going towards being sister resistant, um, some of those other applications being built as well? Yeah, so um, we are bootstrapped by, so consensus is bootstrapping Linea. So the strategy behind Linea is somehow informed by consensus. So this is fully aligned with other products like Metamask. We believe that the market to make sure that we will support in growing up are gaming and social. But this market needs an infrastructure on the back. So DeFi works as an infrastructure. <coughs> so think about in real life, you all, all of your social experience are powered by a financial service infrastructure. You share your meal with Venmo, you send money abroad with PayPal. You know, experience are really based and, and powered by financial services. That's the same in, in the crypto space. You need to have a DeFi infrastructure that is secure, liquid, and solid to power any meaningful experience in social and game. So we are focusing a lot on this. There's another point, like we are building now the DeFi infrastructure to then push even further the game that we have on Linea, the social use case that we already have on Linea. We are already doing this through activation. So we, ran, we just recently closed the campaign called the Linea Park. Okay. It's like the Luna Park. Yeah. It was showcasing all the games that we have on Linea. Now, uh, we have a point system on Linea, and many users come to participate in this campaign to just get the points. Right. But 
it's very important for us to transition these users from just collecting points to being part of communities. So our main focus from a growth perspective is to build communities on Lilia. And I'm into this space since a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time. It was before Ethereum was here. And with my experience, there, there are two ways to build communities on, on, in crypto. Artists or creators through NFT projects and meme coins. Yeah. So we are going to push a lot and uh, try to attract as much as possible creators that are community builders. And they can be meme Hello, coins, they can be NFT, it doesn't matter. Right. So yeah. this is the, one the of the examples. Okay. Not to Open shield, not to shield, but we had these guys issuing an NFT on Linea for uh, all the people that collected points. They collected 2,000 users. It's not too much, 2,000 users. But if you come to our Twitter space or you look at, at Linea Twitter handler, you would see them always there present to croak with everybody. They are different. So that's the type of community that we want. And that's the type of builder that we want to attract in the short term. And that's amazing. And we have a lot of that community. And I'm sure they're going to be really excited about the point system as well. So for all those who are listening, what are ways they can learn more about Lania and connect with their community? So first thing is Discord, of course. Like, <coughs> sorry. We, we used to have a consensus Discord that was holding a Lania channel. We spinned out the, the Lania Discord to be an independent discourse. And that's because the, like, the Linea Discord is a community place. People come to discuss. So the first thing is join Discord and, and engage with us. Um, and we have a lot of community members there. Like, it's not just consensus people there. We took people from the community to become champions. And they are here to stimulate the conversation. So that is the easiest entry channel. And of course, I mean, people can get in touch with us through linea.build official website, or on Twitter as well. There are many ways. Even that reaching directly to me. If, if you are a community that wants to build, the best way is to reach out to me or to Christopher, that is our marketing lead. We will take it over with a high priority. Well, you see that he's very welcoming, wants to be part of the community. Uh, Marco, absolute pleasure with having you here today. Everyone, make sure you go check out Linea's. And thanks for being here at ours. Thanks for hosting me. The views and opinions expressed on Edge of NFT reflect solely those views and opinions of the show hosts and its guests. Please make sure to do your own research. Our show is not financial advice. You understand that you are using any and all information available on or through this podcast at your own risk. Whenever making financial decisions, we recommend doing your own research and talking to your accountant for financial advice. From time to time, we may feature sponsored content on the show for which we receive value, and we may share links for which we receive a commission if you make a purchase through one of those links. Refer to our website, www.edgeofnft.com, for our full disclaimer, terms and conditions, and privacy policy.